All right, all right, all right. Tuesday. And it's going to feel like a long week. But I don't think the picture is as bleak as um, it appears at the open. Um, so here we're looking at the futures. And um, this is the daily. This is yesterday, strong day, right? So here's Friday. Put in that tail, that nice tail. The trend, um, the, the momentum is giving us a trend reversal indication. Here is a um, divergence um, on the daily. And the aggressive entry would be on a break of Friday's high. And a more conservative entry would be a break of the 4093, right? That pivot. Um, and with trading nowadays, I'm holding out for um, conservative entries when uh, I'm doing a, a trend reversal. A little coffee. But um, so today we consolidated a little bit on um, the move up yesterday. But that's okay. That's healthy. I mean, really, if we don't break yesterday's low today, I think I like what I'm seeing. And um, it may give us a push up. And we have this very dramatic um, trend line right here. And we may need to break that. And I feel as though. Um, if we do break that, we're not going to rip, but we're going to start moving into a consolidation, building a nicer, uh, more um, definable bottom. Um, and then I think we might start a slow grind up through the winter. So these are the things that I wish for, I guess. Um, that That's speculation. I mean, what... What's fact is that we have this nice tail, we have a rip up, and we haven't broken the bottom. And right now, we're just neutral, pending a break one way or the other. And really, um, overall, to, to turn a little more bullish, um, a break of that um, intermediate uh, pivot. There's a lot of demons out there. People are pretty frightened of, about what's going on um, in the economy and geopolitical and things of that nature. Um, but I think that it it's obviously perpetuated by um, the talking heads in the news and everybody's fear factor and things of like that and they're into sensationalism so that's all they talk about the same clowns who scream that it's over and it's doom and gloom are screaming um, bye 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 um, when the market's ripping up yeah, you know so as soon as the market turns around the new sentiment will turn around you just got to look at what really um, it's going to make that happen. Um, you, you know, you get a revaluation. Companies are, are, are reducing their estimates. Um, they do that so that they beat the street. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, business models are good on, um, on, on big tech. So it's not like we're trying to get a new concept. I mean, everything they're talking about, everything that tech does is a value for the future. So this is more emotional at this point, I have to say. I mean, I don't think the feds are going to need to be as aggressive. Um, companies are, are backing off of hiring. So, I mean, that's going to help tamper wage inflation. As far as commodities, I mean, I don't know where how that's going to lighten up. I mean, we just don't have those products um, yet, you know. The Biden administration keep thinking about things to do, but don't do anything. So now they're talking about releasing some diesel, um, waiving some um, regulation during the summer on um, emission fuels, which are um, clean emission fuels, which which make uh, gasoline more expensive. Um, so, yeah, you know, they just got to shake their ass and do something. I mean, yeah, you know, but I think these clowns know it's a lost cause and uh, they're out. So, um I don't know if they're going to make a move. Um, it's perplexing, man. It's perplexing. I mean, there's money on the sidelines. People are working. A lot of people are suffering. Lower incomes are suffering because of uh, the cost of, of shit. Um, I mean, you, you know, you go 30 miles, it's going to cost you 50 bucks in your car. Um, it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But... Um, I don't see a lot of growth, but I see a lot of sustainability. And they're talking about um, 
dropping the tariffs with China. You know, all of this language is happening in the background that you're not hearing about. So, you know, what I'm looking for is the right time to get in. You know, when all this shit happens, the money's already um, made. You, you know, institutions know about it. Um, you, you know, people steeped in the industry know about it. And that's where they start buying. So that's what I'm looking for because I, I see this language out there. You know, and I mean, I do this for a living all the time. So, you, you know, a lot of people listen to this channel. This is a part time thing for them. So they don't dig into what's going on as, as, as much as I do. I mean, this is all I do. So, um, again, I see the language out there. And um, so now it's time to get ahead of the cure. You, you know, like this may be that's what I'm looking for a confirmation that this is the time to get ahead of the cure. And so technically, um, I want to see that consolidation. I'd like to see that break up there. I like the language that I'm hearing. Um, you, you know, I want some confirmation, but I don't want to be the last guy in, you, you know. And that's really what I'm looking at right now. That's um, what I'm drilling down into. Um, you, you know, I mean, it's good to wait and it's good to get confirmation in the market. But, you, you know, you got to be savvy and ahead of the game, too, to make that money. So um, that's where I'm at, man. That's where I'm at. That's what uh, ES looks like. Uh, so for, for me, I'm neutral on, um, on the uh, S&P. Um, I may take it directional if we break one way or the other, if we break the high, the low of yesterday. Right now we're in sub bar. We may just remain in sub bar and perhaps tomorrow is the break. Um, I didn't really look, but let's see if there's anything going on um, in the news. Uh, Tuesday, new home sales. I mean, that'll be interesting. They, they, they play the angle either way, really. I mean, um, home sales are slowing. So, you, you know, they could say, okay, you, you know, pressure will come off of commodities. And, you know, people will get laid off and the whole nine yards. So they'll say home sales are slowing and, you know, people aren't spending money and everybody's hunkering down. And, you, you know, so, I mean, they play it both ways, depending on what color um, the market is for the day. If the market was green and home sales were slowing, they'd make it a positive in the news. If the market was red and home sales are slowing, they make it a negative in the news. Going forward, durable good orders, durable goods orders. That's, um, they, they're, they're expecting quite a, um, a depreciation. So, yeah, you know, they'll play that both ways, too, depending on the color of the market at the day when you're talking, when you're listening to the news, you, you know, market's red and, um, you know, it's uh, a fear of a slowdown and the market's green and everybody's excited because, um, you, you know, inflation fears might be tapering. So, you, you know, you can't really look at these news articles right now. There's really no um, there's no um, typical reaction that you can look at and, and, and kind of anticipate what it's going to do to the market because it just looks like um, it's interpreted according to the market. And then we have the minutes, the FOMC minutes. Um, hey, we may get just a little consolidation ahead of that. That would be nice. I wouldn't mind a little quiet days, a couple of quiet days ahead of that tomorrow. So, um, yeah, that's probably the biggest thing on the plate, really. GDP, yo, they look at look at that. They're looking at a negative growth rate. That's a forecast. That's interesting, you know. So um, then again, fear of um, of a slowdown. If the market's red, if the market's green, then um, yeah, you know the the interest rate hikes and and uh, every, the work they're putting in is taking effect. Um, so that's what we got to look at. Basically, it's just a very confusing time and we're supposed to be going into a very quiet time. And that's what I'm waiting to see. That's what I want to see. I want to see um, everything quiet down and us just get those uh, summer doldrums um, and, and give everybody a little breathing room and a chance to um, really figure things out. You know, the volatility in the market is not helping anybody but um, the computer traders, the algorithms. Um, so that's what we need to see right now. Um, if we take a quick look, a quick, 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 quick look, let's look at BTC. Um, and there's babies getting beat up again. Doing the same thing the S&P is. I mean, you, you know, you don't even have to um, research or, 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 or analyze 
both markets. Um, just a risk on um, a risk on um, asset. And if risk isn't on, it's not happening. So um, I'm neutral pending a break of that trend line. If it breaks that line, it's going to go down further. Otherwise, I'm neutral on, on the position. You know, I think Snap came out last night with some bad numbers. I think that probably hit the market. Because nothing really changed other than that. And what else are we looking at? Mm -mm -mm. Look at the 10 year, and the 10 year just keeps floating down. Momentum is fading, so I'm still expecting the 10 year to float down. I think it may float down to about 24 or so, maybe 25, 63, 24, or 2.56 or 2.40. Um, Yeah, that's how I feel about that. Got like a head and shoulders coming in over here, which it popped. Might be doing a last kiss on that little push up and then a float down. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. So that's it, man. That's what's going on. I'm feeling very mellow because I just rolled out of a, a meditation. So that's why I'm speaking in this fashion. I have nothing to really rant and rave about. Um... Unless you want to get want me to get on Biden, but I mean the guy doing enough on his own. You don't even have to beat him up anymore. Um, so uh, anyway, um, that's it, man. Remember, um, watch your downside. Keep yourself liquid right now. Be patient and um, be at peace when you trade. Good luck with your trades.